Hey everybody, it's WebThinger, and uh, I got some of my friends together. We're going to talk some things about uh, what happens on the internet. Uh, let's get a nice view of everybody. Look at all these people. All these smart, creative people. So uh, yeah, we're going to talk to you about uh, uh, an Instagram photo first. Let's pull that up with James McAvoy. Okay, it's a little ridiculous, for sure, right? You can see he's dressed up as Professor X there, and he's under a Paw Patrol blanket, and he's watching TV, and, and this is his Instagram feed, and he says, Then and now, when watching my own movies, I generally like to snuggle with Paw Patrol branded merch. Who can name the movie I'm watching? This is all that he has said. Katie? This is wanted exactly 19 minutes and 42 seconds into the movie. Nineteen forty-two, perfect. <laughs> Big Russian boss, so cute. I want to eat you. LOL, cute. James McAvoy, you're my favorite person in the world, and I love you with all my heart, spelled H A R T, oh. as a friend. As a friend. I don't even know who James McAvoy is, so I think I'm the perfect. <laughs> you haven't watched any of the new X Men movies? No. <laughs> well, 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 no. Was he? Uh, was he on? The hard no right was there. a different kid. When He's we been in some shit. When we guess, I like the movie, him as a friend. <laughs> guys, we didn't watch that movie. When we guess the movie right, we win the prize to get him under the bed cover. Oh. I think that's a jump there. <laughs> the best pick in the world. This cutie made my day. <laughs> I gotta do this one. <laughs> I just watched Atonement today. I know you're not watching that. <laughs> I love you when I just saw in the movie The Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> Children of Dune? That sounds amazing. You're awesome, dude. Special. Your movies. You are movies. You're, you're, you're movies. The coolest pick I've ever seen. Really, you are, letter R, genius. This is called Wanted back in 2008. Am I right, James McAvoy? And James McAvoy, the best man who came from Scotland, and James McAvoy need time for himself. McAvoy, need it. <laughs> Did they just try the Costanza method? They're like, maybe if I say his name enough, he'll like me. <laughs> he'll appear like Beetlejuice. <laughs> I saw Split one month ago, and I enjoy it very well because of your awesome play in that. <laughs> is it comfortable at Boots? Hmm, don't know, but hello. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Wear a fucking wig, bitch! My daughters are so jealous because you have a Paw Patrol blanket <laughs> and they don't. Enjoy. <laughs> that might be my favorite. W wanted the worst movie and then there's you are so cute <laughs> like cool <laughs> <We're awake! laughs> definitely this is the sweetest thing i saw this week you are so cute so cute so cozy <laughs> love you james mcavoy why do your legs look longer than the Eiffel Tower? WTF. <laughs> such, such a weird Lang reference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like that should have been written in French, like, or someone's definitely a second year French dude. That... <laughs> Someone is standing in front of the Eiffel Tower with that photo of James McAvoy right now going, wait a minute. That's not right. <laughs> this doesn't add up. This is going to be loud. Why do we relate to this so much? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the we? I don't know. All of us. As a collective it's world. Everyone. It's the world. Existence. It's the the world. interwebs. So the last one is, the TV picture is blurry. Can't tell. I'd rather look at you, though. Smiley face. I'm the one who got your Evil Dead trivia question correct. <laughs> if I could see the pic on TV better, I'd likely know. You look so cute in this pic. So in this segment, I think we learned... That, that you measure legs by national monuments. <laughs> I think we learned that we are upset about how much we relate to this photo. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that there is some confusion as to whether or not Wanted was a good movie, a bad movie, or Children of Dune. James McAvoy. James All right, McAvoy. Michael, I need you to bring up the one with the uh, lady who owns the bikini 
business. Okay. So this, my friends, comes from LinkedIn. I love <laughs> this so hard because this is Candace Gallic, who owns a company. It's in this picture is not her, right? So she owns a company called Bikini Lux, right? And she puts this photo up there and literally asks just, would your significant other wear this? Okay? That's it. That is the entirety of her. And she obviously gives a link there. You can see it. Um, Katie, you want to start us off? If she could, she would. Absolutely. Oh, boy. That... Now, they weren't now again, I, got, I feel the need to pump the brakes and just be like, this is LinkedIn. This is where you met your accountant, right? This is where, you know, it's like there are people who are trying to get your IT support business. Be like, my wife cannot wear this. <laughs> Eric, what do you got? Yes. Ah. Yes. Oh, no. I think she would, although she can still go bikini at 51. Ah. I'm proud of her for taking care of herself. I think she would look good in a one piece too. That's sweet. I like the expression. I <laughs> she can go bikini. Yeah. <laughs> How's your wife doing? Well, she could go bikini. <laughs> so I'm uh, pretty much lucky. Man, guy. I hope when I hit 51, I can go bikini. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want anybody talking about the LinkedIn. <laughs> How about this one? Wish she could, then we can talk about wood. Oh. <laughs> what, is, oh. what does that mean? They're getting a divorce in six months. That's <laughs> what that means. Yeah. This is, by the way, this is LinkedIn. <laughs> you can endorse this man if you want to. Oh, I'm going to endorse him in wood. <laughs> Help the brother out. <laughs> oh, boy. Final comments? I think we ought to make final comments and just say there are people who are, and actually, let's put my glasses back on so I can see what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't even believe somebody put that on LinkedIn so that all of their like professional contacts could see it. This would be like, yeah, my wife could still go bikini. So, <laughs> Josh, why don't you tell everybody what you're working on? My name is Josh Corcoran. Uh, my friends and I have a web series called Spare Change where we play music for different charities. You can check it out, sparechange.tv. I'm Scott McTaggart. You can always find me on the Pitchworks podcast and getting into trouble somewhere. Crystal? Oh, I have a microphone on. You have your own uh, <laughs> My name's Crystal Grandy, and you can find me on Instagram at, at Crystal Grandy underscore. I'm a uh, TV producer, commercial producer, and um, kind of the Carrie Bradshaw of Pittsburgh. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Dang. Yeah. No, you know what? That right. still makes more sense than what we read today. <laughs> like, we, I don't even know who that is, but I know it makes more oh, sense than... Man. I'm Eric Williams. I run a uh, all-ages variety open mic at the Brookline Community Open Mic, which used to be the American Legion... Uh, <laughs> just off the corner of Brookline Still Boulevard and Pioneer uh, in the neighborhood of Brookline. First Wednesday of the month, 8 o'clock. Signs up at 7.30. Wednesdays. <laughs> it's Burke! <laughs> I'm Katie Dutters. You can find me on the, on the Twitters at KDutters, on Instagram as Kate Marie PGH, and all things Scarehouse. And on Tuesdays, you can find me on this wonderful show, Awesome Cast, up in Butch Boo at the beautiful Sorgatron Media Studios. Mm -hmm.